Welcome. I'm Leanne Howard, a board member of the Australian and New Zealand Testing Board. I'd like to give you a short video to help you understand the Foundation Syllabus 2018 version 3.1 updates. This is what I'm going to cover, why it's so important to get the Foundation Certification, a quick look at the release note, some key updates, how you can download the syllabus to get started on your study, a look at how you can access the glossary and why it's so important to be supporting the Australian New Zealand Testing Board. So from an organisational point of view, the certification helps to accelerate your recruitment. You can understand that you're employing certified testers who have reached a certain level of competency once they have this foundation certification. It promotes effective and efficient communication using a common vocabulary for all software testing. And it also means that staff that you are employing understand key testing priorities and approaches to testing. For the candidate themselves, all job adverts these days have certification as mandatory. So make sure you're not going to miss out on your dream role. It helps you understand the fundamental concepts of testing. And that's not just for testers alone. Anyone can be involved in testing these days, particularly if you're working in an agile project. So this certification is equally of value to developers, BAs, project managers, or anyone really that is involved in modern software development these days. It also is helpful if you're looking to change your career, maybe to a more hands-on testing role. And it helps you to communicate in a clear and understandable way using the work test products. So there's a key update. Um, these are minor ch um, text changes. However, this session looks at some key changes where, which will impact your learning of the syllabus. So I've picked out here a few things from um, the release note. And this is just an extract from the top of the release note. So please make sure you check out the whole of the release note, which is available on the ANZ TV website. What it does is it gives you a change log. So it goes through each of the chapters and tells you the key points that have changed. So as you can see here on chapter one, the test process has been added as a keyword. The bullet lists in section 1.1 have been updated and there's some minor textual changes. So I'm not going to go through all of the changes because you can read those in the release note and they're obviously updated in the syllabus but I'm just going to give you some key examples of what's changed. So one of the things that has changed is there's a number of different keywords that have changed. And you can see here from chapter one, I've highlighted a few things. So test execution has been um, deleted and has also the schedule and test process has been added. In section two, change related testing has been added, for example. These are just a couple of the key words. There's other key words in the other sections, but I've just given you a couple of examples here. Now I'm going to go through a few of the other changes. As I've said, these are not all of the changes, but I just wanted to give you a feel of what has changes. So section 1.1.1, as you can see, there's quite a few changes here. Uh, changing the emphasis of some of the bullet points and as you can see some of the bullet points have been uh, deleted so that's the strike through ones. 
a number of the examples have been rem removed. So here you can see for test completion, the EG as part of a, a retrospective meeting has been removed. If you do training with one of our um, authorised training providers, they will give you some examples as part of their training. That's part of the value add service that they give. But if you are just studying from the syllabus, those EGs have been removed and you will need to do a bit more research to understand uh, some examples. Another section that has been changed is section 2.1.2. Point and as you can read here, some key bullet points have been added for reasons why software development models should be adapted in the context of the projects or the product that they are working for. Decision table section, that's been changed quite a lot as well. Uh, and as you can see here in the blue writing, that's the additional text and the writing that has been struck through is the writing that has or, or the part of the syllabus that you now don't need to uh, study. Again, some more examples of uh, keywords in section five and section six. So defect report has been added and the performance testing tool has been removed. There's also been a significant reduction in the number of tools listed. This is just a small extract. So there were 26 different tools listed and that's now been reduced down to 13. And I've just given you a couple of examples here. So the Syllabus has now been updated, so I would really encourage you to be studying from the latest syllabus, which is available on the ANZ TB uh, website. And also the Australian New Zealand Testing Board has now updated all of its exams, whether you're taking a paper version or an e-exam, to reflect this new syllabus change. I just wanted to uh, let you know that you can download the syllabus from our Australia New Zealand Testing Board website and this is the link that you need to use and I've given you the examples there of where you can find the syllabus updates and also the release note is available on that area of the website as well. Just a little tip, um, you can download the full glossary extract for this exam and in fact any of the exams. But if you are studying and you want a quick look at a glossary or to remind yourself what the meanings are for glossary words, there is actually an online glossary available. And again, I've given you the link there to allow you to um, search for it. And all you need to do is type in whichever word you're trying to find the glossary update for us. So in this case, I've selected the test process, which if you remember is one of the words that I've said has changed in this new syllabus. And as you can see, once you select the icon with the magnifying glass, the definition of that particular word will be displayed and you can search on part words as well. So why support the Australia and New Zealand testing board? Well, we want to make sure that as part of your career growth and to enable you to find those roles that you're really looking for and would really like to undertake uh, we want to just raise a word of caution please make sure that you are uh, reading syllabus and particularly doing sample exams from genuine ISTQB certification sites you may 
find that there's lots of other, if you Google um, exams, you may be able to find lots of other exams, but they are not the genuine, genuine certificate. So make sure that you are getting all of your information from the ANZ TB website, which is a legitimate site. Now, we're a non-for-profit um, board, so we really need you to help support us so that we can support you. We are here to help you with your career development and help to promote the professionalism of testing. And the only way that we can do that is by um, getting certification through the Australia and New Zealand Testing Board so that we can then fund um, events such as the special interest groups and conferences so that you can come and meet other like-minded professionals and also maybe find that dream job.